thank you for coming in and watching. If you are an owner of a T480S, T490S, uh, and there's a lot of other models that will basically off this foundation, even like X-Series and Yogas, they all kind of have the same idea in this era. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add or upgrade the NVMe in this laptop. And all you will need for this is a screwdriver. In this case, I'm going to be using my mechanical screwdriver. That might be the right bit. And uh, it's because I'm lazy. Okay, so first things first here, we're going to take it apart. And with the newer laptops now, it gets a lot easier as we just flip it over. And you're gonna note the screws. There's not that many. I think in this one, there's five, I think. I don't know if that one has to come out. And they don't actually come out. They just, uh, they have like a, a little clip inside so they stay in. So let's just start with the first one here. A little lazy me. Oops. If you guys are looking for a tool like this, they're great. If it doesn't work right away, like it's too tight, um, you can actually just use it like a screwdriver and torque it. Well, I don't know where my uh, metal ones are, but you could use plastic ones as long as they're somewhat good, I find. Uh, and you just want to get it like inside here and get it started. Now that I have a corner actually up, this will be somewhat of, this is a very easy removal. Now you see here, that's the one thing where you don't pull right away because that screw is still catching. You know, once you have the backup, a simple lift if all your screws are letting go and off you are. And that one did have to come out. Okay, so now we're inside the laptop. Now, a couple things people say is like unplug the battery and such, but we're only doing an NVMe swap here. And you can see it's right here. There are no other slots for this. There's your RAM slot here, if you were wondering. And that is your Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And there's another WAN port here for adding either, uh, who knows, GPS, whatever the case might be. But right now, our focus is this guy right here. And it's held in by one screw. And this, it was a Lexar 620 in here. Hmm. So that's not even factory. <laughs> that's not factory at all. So someone has already upgraded the solid state, but I don't think they really upgraded it because I think it's still a 256. Once your screw is out, your drive will lift like so. It is now out. Now guys, if you're looking for Really, 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 really awesome deal on uh, NVMe drives. I will give you a link to these as well. I use these in all of my, uh, I guess, retail store type builds. Um, not for gaming, but for stuff like this where you're really not going to see a difference. And these are Time Tech. Uh, I think they're around 2200 read write, which is still really awesome. And the thing is, uh, they're a name brand that aren't really a name brand that we would know, but they're a name brand that I have not had an RMA with. So that is the beauty of these drives. So this is a one terabyte, and I don't think they're much more than $60 Canadian. You get 512s for that and the other brand names. So very, very, very nice to, uh, to take a chance on a brand name that I've been using now for two years and uh, be happy about it. So again, we just want to tip, put it in, make sure it is snug. We drop it down where we're going to put our screw back in. And we'll you, you'll see uh, demagnetizing and magnetizing. So we're going to try and magnetize it. Well, it works, but they lose it. I find they lose it. And it may be because of the tip, right? Like you're changing the tip all the time. So I'm going to just turn the light on here and you'll see that I'm going to, actually the light's probably making a problem. So you can see that I'm just going to put it in now and just till it's snug. 
Before it's finally tight, just make sure it's in. That's it. So now we have our one terabyte drive in the unit. All we have left to do now is get Windows on here and away we go. So this is just a quick, really brief, quick tutorial on how to change drives in the T4 ADS from Lenovo and the T4 90S. Now the 90S may have it in a different spot, but I don't think so. Uh, based on the design of the chassis being identical and you can get T4 90S's with 8th gen and you can get them with 9th gen. So it leads to believe that the boards are going to be the same layout. This is an 8th gen i5. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone out there that's looking to upgrade their unit and just were that touch scared and you thought you had to bring it into a computer store and pay someone a hundred dollars just to put it in. Ah, it's easy. Till next time guys, thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe if you like me. <laughs> if you don't, just don't. Till next time, game over.